Hey, what's going on YouTube? This Southern Nights coming back at you with another video. And before you watch this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to donate. Links in the description box. But if you don't do anything, subscribe to the channel. Watch all the way through because in this one, I'm going to be hitting some hard facts on this might throw a little history in there like always might throw a little law it don't it don't it ain't gonna tell them where this go at but i'm gonna try to make it short and brief but it might be who knows but anyway this video i might title the kill switch society because this is what we where we at right now a, a kill switch society to where anything goes now. And I think psychologically, the majority of America in the world is at the boiling point, at the tipping point. So everybody got this kill switch. And let me explain what I mean by a kill switch society. Meaning that People ways done got so out of hand, it haven't been corrected, it haven't been checked. Nobody had really been held accountable for their actions. And I'm talking about the citizenry, and I'm talking about the government or the states, whatever. Who, who else? I'm talking about everybody as a whole. Maybe the majority, because I don't think this applies to everybody. You know, it's a few people that know how the universe works. And this might, it might go over people's heads a little bit, but you might get it. But when people, when the collective consciousness do a certain thing for a long period of time, and you have a, let's say, evil people or people with an agenda or certain people that have pretty much want to lead society to a certain way to benefit them. And it's actually sticking. Then the people that go along to get along, you have that crowd out there too. And I'm seeing more of that on the conservative end. And this don't apply to all conservatives, cause, but... At the same time, I'm seeing this on the conservative end. And, and basically both parties, but you already know, I already explained the two-party system. So, But I'm, I'm seeing this more on the Republican side, and I'm mostly talking about the people in the private sector of society, and we're talking about the majority of the state politicians. And... Basically, this been going on for quite some time to the point to where everything is spiraling out of control now. So everybody on this, you know, I think everybody is on a mission to see the world burn now. This is where I think we at in society. So when people talking about the shift and the other stuff that's really going on, this is, this is kind of what you can put in perspective of what I'm talking about. For example, and I'm going to speak on the situation that, you know, everybody talking about, like this militia, what they call in the militia, the uh, rise of the Moors, and other groups that pretty much exercising their Second Amendment right. And I'm going to start with that. So, you have a lot of people in the state level. You have a lot of people in majority of the pro two-way community, conservatives or whatnot. They say they for the Second Amendment. But for some reason, you have this group called the Rise of the Moors pretty much exercising their right to bear arm and... They didn't have a, a license. 
per, per se to carry. Okay, that's fine. This okay. Let's say where we need a license or whatever. But fast forward, this remind me of the situation with the Black Panthers when gun control and the background check ceased to exist. So now you had a group of people that agree with that, that go along to get along mentality because they thought that they was exempt from the same laws that were pertaining to the Black Panthers. Because remember, those rights, those, those rights was God given. It's in the Constitution. It's in the state, some states' constitutions that you have a right to bear on without the background check licenses. But all of that came to basically hinder quote unquote African Americans to possess certain firearm without supervision or without being monitored or whatever the case may be. Now they got these guys held in the mid captivity and stuff like that. But the argument that I'm bringing is basically people that say that we, the constitution, we have a right to bear arms. I'm seeing these same people is now saying that, oh, they not a ban our laws and they should be held accountable. I'm, and, I'm, and I'm seeing this for the conservative side. And, and, and I've been seeing this for a while now, but I haven't said anything because I was giving majority of them or the benefit of the doubt. Because, but now I'm starting to see the talking points of them. And like I told a lot of real conservatives, true conservatives, a lot of the people that amongst y'all ranks are traditional Democrats that switched parties when the majority of blacks became Democrats during the civil rights era. And now, a lot of conservatives, you know, European counterpart brothers, conservatives, thank me for that because I pointed that out. A lot of them agree with me with that, and, and I told them to look out for certain things, and now they see what I'm talking about. A lot of them pretty much switched and came conservatives because of whatever traditions passed down to them or whatever the case may be, whether it's land, property, or whatever. But the land and property was based on a democratic foundation. So to preserve that, a lot of them became conservatives. This is why a lot of Latinos, when they gain a certain amount of wealth in this country, most likely they become conservatives or Republicans also. But I find it funny to where, you know, when the shoe is on the other foot, to where now you saying our laws, they got to obey it, but when the same laws pertain to you, now it's an issue. Now, I told people plenty of times, you know, I, I conversate, I just keep it 100. This is how people rights get taken away every single time. This is how majority of the people rights is being threatened right now because one group think they're exempt from another particular group. So they go along to get along. And usually we like what eventually happened to black America eventually happened to everybody around the, the, the United States and eventually around the world. And it seems like it still don't register. But I'm gonna let y'all ponder on that for a minute. But and I and I was looking at these different situations. But tell you the truth, besides the constant what laid out in the Constitution, the right to bear arms, I don't really see what laws that they violated. Now I understand the license, the being here since I was born. So yeah, I I got a permit, carry licenses, whatever you know. That that's the that was here before I was born. So I was like, all right, cool. But if I was in them days back then, I would have vetoed that shit. It's like, nah, but, uh, but seriously, it's a lot of people going along with this. And I'm like, yo, this not the time to really 
this is the time to really look into stuff like that because you got to remember, <laughs> you're not exempt for this. You, you're not exempt for what they going through. And as for the state of Massachusetts, they talking about penalties and stuff like that. I, I want to say to the state of Massachusetts, then I'm going to get to some of these morals in a minute. Ooh, I, <laughs> the state of Massachusetts. When the federal government tamper with your affairs, what the first thing that they say? You can go back during the Obama era. Oh, our constitution this, our constitutional that. But it's funny when somebody appears before you and mention the constitution, you act like it's non-existent. But when the federal government come and tamper with you, now you want to bring the constitution. So my thing is, if you circumvent the Constitution when everybody else bring it to you, you're not a party to it. So therefore, the federal government can regulate any laws in your state however they want, and they should. And that's just my opinion. I think they should. I think they should probably take every single rights that y'all have. You see what I'm saying? Because you, you allowed it. And that's just me being honest. And I'm not saying that from an emotional point of view. I'm saying it from a law perspective. If you circumvent the Constitution, you got certain rights to say where you can't carry, you got to have certain stuff to really have that. Okay, I get it. But if the federal government say they're going to ban ARs and your state, these same state officials that's in this courtroom depriving people from their rights to bear arms is going to be crying to the federal government saying they're trying to take our rights. And I've been seeing this since the Obama administration. And some of these people saying all kinds of crap. The, the Pope owned the land, and uh, I'm just hearing a lot of stupid stuff. It's stupid. These guys clearly don't know history. They don't know geography. I'm hearing all type of stupid. Oh, the Pope, they shouldn't do this. The Pope's owned the land and all of this stuff. And like I said, I'm just talking the matter. You know, this, this is pretty much, I'm just pointing out the hypocritical stuff that's causing the kill, causing the kill switch society and causing everybody to do any and everything that's what's going on right now. Because a lot of people is finding out that they're not exempt from the same people that they violating. And then now everybody is to the point to where it's like a switch you can't turn off. It's like a switch you can't turn off. And basically... What caused a kill switch society is basically people allowing stuff to go on for so long to the point to where it's out of control. For example, what happens to a child when you don't hold it accountable at a young age? He going around, they don't, you know, you're not teaching them not to put your hands on people. You, te you ain't teaching them not to cuss. You're not, you're not teaching them how to be respectful when you're around certain grown-ups. You're not teaching them that. So as they get older, they don't know no better. They don't know no better. They just going around, think they can hit, punch, kick everybody that they want. And now it becomes a kill switch within that Toddler that's now growing up and got to go into society with the same mentality when they were small. You, how long you think that that child gonna last in that society? Let let me know how long you think they're gonna survive before you find them slumped over in a ditch somewhere, or locked up, or whatever the case or or just come up misses them down where <laughs> how, how long you think that's going to last and this what society has become as a whole for the state and federal level and the reason why i brought up that situation is because i was looking into that and i was basically 
And I'm basically giving my opinion of it. And you got people, particularly my hue, color, saying a lot of dumb stuff to just to go along to get along because really, to ask me, they, they really cowards. But I understand that for, you know, what type of region that they, they, they from. Nine times of ten, they, they in these liberal cities and they pretty much got softened up over the years. But us down south, it, it's, it's a different breed. And I'm not saying that people from the city don't don't get it in because you already see what <laughs> happened in Minnesota. But it's certain people in society got this go along to get along mentality. You see what I'm saying? So and it ain't the fact that you are agreeing with that because you have some sort of tribalism, which a lot of that going on too, but you just be keeping it sincere. Just like I'm doing now. I'm, I'm keeping a lot of stuff sincere. And I tell you, I'm not taking sides on the matter, but I'm just pointing out the obvious. It's a lot of hypocritical people out here and they remain so hypocritical for so long. It's a switch they cannot turn off. And now the federal government can go to any state and regulate any freaking laws that they want because tell you the truth, they acquiesce all rights when they violate their own citizens. And a lot of them don't see that as till it's too late. If you don't believe me, bring up a gun issue and watch how these state officials start crying. <laughs> they take the rail second amendment rights. <laughs> That's what they do. Oh, our constitution this and constitution and constitutional this and our constitution God given inevitable and inalienable rights and I think we should hold uphold the constitution. But soon their citizen come in there speaking on the constitution. Oh, we don't recognize that. Oh, what constitution? <laughs> they start looking all off in space. Where 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 did it? We we don't recognize the constitution. Oh, you a constitutionalist. What what the heck is that? They don't made another term out a constitutionalist as if it's not a part of the government or it it the, it's not the document that actually formed the government through the great laws of peace through the Iroquois Confederacy, which is my ancestors. <laughs> you know, so but they don't they don't recognize that. So the same people, ancestors that pretty much helped cultivate the constitution and made it to what it is, cannot use it in their defense. But the people that's not qualified to use the Constitution because they put themselves under the 14th Amendment, which wasn't fully ratified in the southern states, and is null and void according to the state and federal level. But these same folks think that they obligated to use the Constitution in their defense when the federal government digs in their affairs. I say you sadly mistaken. You sadly mistaken. And with that mentality, no wonder every right that you have is being stripped from you. And I'm talking about the majority of these state officials in these northern states that violate its citizens when they are exercising a right. And that's, that go for all over. That go for all over. This is why you have a lot of sheriffs that's kind of turning down majority of the unconstitutional laws because they starting to wake up and see that this stuff, hey man, we, we being hypocritical. So now a lot of sheriffs and that goes, they, they turn it down a lot of stuff from the federal government but at the same time they still implemented the laws on the citizenry but they 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 have let up some they they have let up some i do give them that they they have it's a lot of laws that they you know they looking into and they pretty much do away with and for the most part you know and especially i can't speak for the cities but for the most part when a person like myself 
you know, I have my gun on my hip, and I, I walk past sheriffs every day. They, I, I don't get questioned. I don't get bothered. Because a lot of assume if I'm wearing it on my hip, of course it's going to be licensed. So for, for the most part, I think a lot of sheriffs and also a lot of police are waking up and, and recognizing that fact that they are, are not exempt for what's to come. But however, the damage has already been done because you have people that been mentally conditioned and not being held accountable in certain sectors of society. And it's causing them to now, it's causing them to now push their belief, ideologies and stuff on society. And it's, and the people that don't agree with that, it's kind of, it's kind of causing friction and like and I and I mentioned this on majority of my videos but I'm kind of re-ramping on certain stuff and making it more clearer for y'all to understand where I'm coming from in this video the reason why society the way it is is because it became so hypocritical that nothing don't make sense now so you got one person that agree with one thing, but don't agree with it when it pertains to them. But it's the same thing. And most people are just loyal to their options. That's it. It don't got nothing to do with the laws of the land. It don't got nothing to do with them honoring the constitution. Some people are just loyal to their options to a no longer benefit or to them saying options is no longer and it no and it benefits them and when it no longer benefits them then guess what they crying and a lot of people is stuck in that mentality and I don't see it changing and now it became a switch that they can't turn off and when it becomes a switch that it can't that don't turn off you can't stop it. It's like a train with no, it is it, it, basically like a train that you can't stop. It just keep gaining momentum. And, and, and you know, when that train reaches destination, it, it's a wrap. Everything from the front and the back of that train is it, it's, it's flying all over the place. And that's where I see the civil war Throughout history, this is why I see what created wars, what created the Civil War, what created the Revolutionary War, what created World War I, what created World War II. This is the stuff that I see over the years that created wars. And now I'm understanding the dynamics of the universe a lot clearer. When the collective conscious meets a boiling point, it pretty much going, that energy going to have to reciprocate somewhere it can't stay still so what it, it, it tends to happen is a certain group reach a boiling point and this is what you call a first attack per se whether it's mentally physically biologically whatever it's a first attack and this side going to be like oh they realize okay we've been attacked now so we're going to have to respond <laughs> this way so this is where the collage always come in throughout history and I think it start from lies and people being so hypocritical that they get stuck in their ways and this is why I see people going on what's going on right now it don't got nothing to do with really right or wrong it just got something to do with more of going along getting along and being loyal to the options that's given to them, being loyal to their privilege, to it no longer benefits them. So basically, they just basically riding the gravy train out until the gravy train stop. Then all of a sudden, they agree with the same people that they once didn't agree with because now they're in the same boat. And if you ask me, a person like that don't deserve no rights. If, if if they if John Adams, um, Benjamin Franklin, all, all of them were still here to this day, and they will see this, 
even though they were minister plenipotentiaries of the government of the, the Moors, which was here in America, they will tell these people that you do not deserve a rep republic. They will say this. I know for a fact because I stayed in history long enough to know what they will say if they see these people that's only loyal to their options. They will tell them specifically, you do not deserve no rights. You don't deserve it. Even George Washington will probably say it. <laughs> even George Washington. Hell, at this point, I would think even, you know, much as that I despise what Lincoln did to the to the South, I, I would actually think that he would, on his side, he'd probably say, look, y'all don't deserve a republic. Any politician, Robert E. Lee, in, in, down here in the South, you know, Nathan, Nathan Bethel Forrest, anybody that you can name in history will tell at this particular, if they see this particular society and how hypocritical it is right now, they will say, look, y'all deserve every right to be taken from y'all. No, no republic for you. And that's just my, and, and, and that's just my opinion, but it's also my fact. This is why when society is getting to the way it is, because as you can see, you see the corona stuff coming back. This is why you see this society crumbling right now. Now you see everybody crying, boohooing and stuff like that because the gravy train is now over. And when Biden came in, I think it was a slight delay because when Trump was in, everybody was pretty much scared. You know, only thing I heard was black and brown pride, black love. Um, we all won. This is the stuff that I keep hearing. But I always hear this stuff when people options are in jeopardy. But notice these same people that got what they want and that was pretty much Biden. And along with the benefits that came with it, notice that these people know where to be found. And now the same folks got caught off guard and now they de using desperate measures. Now they doing the PPP loans to try to get money because people got caught off guard. Nobody didn't work together. Everybody just pretty much just did what they wanted to do. And now they got to commit fraud to stay afloat. And now the federal government is pretty much on the ass. This is the original shift. This is this this is the kill switch society that I was speaking of. And I know that a lot of people may agree with me, but I know I might ruffle some feathers in here. But like I said, I'm just keeping I, I I'm just keeping it real and I'm just giving you what I see. And I usually don't go here when I do my videos, but it, it's getting out of hand. And like I said, this me not taking no sides. The only thing that I'm doing is is pointing out the obvious that people are hypocritical as fuck. That that's that's all I'm pointing out. But I'm gonna end this video now. And if y'all have any comments or uh, share y'all opinion on this. And and don't and don't get me wrong. It's a lot of I might have a lot of conservatives that's on my channel that I know that's really conservatives that really go by traditional Christian values that really stand up for the Constitution. It's it's a lot of them out here, but I'm just pointing out to y'all that y'all have a few people amongst y'all ranks that's very hypocritical. I, see, I already tell y'all about what's going on with Democrats. See, I, you don't have to. But I'm just telling conservatives, you might have to watch the people amongst your ranks. That, that's all I'm saying because a lot of those people, like I told you, and a lot of a conservative around here think before, a lot of them are traditional Democrats. That's, that's all I'm saying. With that said, I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. I thought I'd put that out here. And 
it might be some response after this because I know I was going into some of these moors and the, the stupid rhetoric that they putting out, but <laughs> you, you don't want to smoke with me. With that said, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.